Hey guys, welcome, you're watching Dansky, and in this video we're going to learn how to create some awesome glow effects in Illustrator. Rightio, so I'm now in Illustrator, and first I'm going to select the Rectangle tool. I'm then going to click and drag and draw a nice big box, go over to the Stroke, and set this to None. Then select Fill, and double click to bring up the Colour Picker. I'm then going to select a colour very close to black, but one that still has a hint of colour. I'm then going to adjust the Hue slider as well, close down this panel that just will not leave me alone, and then from the Swatches panel that I've got docked on the side, I'm going to create a new swatch, check global, and then click OK. I'm then going to double click the colour picker again, adjust the hue using the hue slider, and then move the colour picking pickery thing over to the right so there's much more saturation in the colour. But it's still close to the colour black and very dark. I can then create this as a new global swatch as well. Next I'm going to select the gradient tool, and click anywhere on the rectangle. This adds the default black to white gradient, and I can double click on each swatch at either end, and then add my two global swatches. There we go, very nice. Now I can hop back to the main selection tool, and then resize this big old box so it fills the entire artboard. Now to make sure I don't move it around by mistake, I'm going to go to Object, Lock, and Selection and then click and hold on the rectangle tool and select the ellipse tool. Click and hold shift to draw a circle, set the fill to none, double click the stroke, and then set the colour to white all the way in the top left corner. Now I can increase the stroke weight from the property inspector on the right, and then go up to object, down to expand, leave everything checked and click OK. Next I'm going to go back up to object, down to path and select offset path. I'm going to increase this value. This is going to be as big as I would like my glow to be. Click OK, and from the color picker, make sure the fill of the shape is black. That's all the way in the bottom left corner kind of black. There we go, we have a black and a white ring. Select them both. Go and grab the blend tool, hover over the shapes until you see a plus icon, and then click to blend these together. Now I'm just going to pop everything in the center. And this is where the magic happens. So go to Opacity, or the Transparency panel on older versions of Illustrator, and from the drop down, select the Color Dodge Blending Mode. And you'll see it turns into this lightsaber kind of effect, and it's pulling through those colors from the background. And you can move this around. I'm not entirely sure why I felt the need to demonstrate this, but there you go. Yes, you can move it around. So how do I change the color of this beautiful ring I've created? Aha, well, I'm glad you asked. Go to Swatches, double click those two swatches you created at the beginning, check Preview, and just play around with the sliders. So there we go, we've done this for a ring, but now I'm going to do this for an orb. So I'm going to select the ellipse tool, click and drag holding shift, and instead we're going to apply the gradient as a fill. Now after repeating those same steps, I end up with something that looks like this. So from the gradient panel, I'm going to select radial, and now we have an orb. And watch what you can do with this. This is so cool. Now because these objects were both created with the gradient and the color dodge blending mode, these objects visually interact with each other, and it looks awesome. As you can see, I'm clearly having a lot of fun with this. Now I'm actually going to distort and squish down the ball I created, and position this under the glowing ring, this is going to act as a surface reflection. So let's just take a minute to adjust the size and position of both of these objects. Now if I select the gradient tool, I can click on one of the swatches, and from the color picker I can double click this. You don't have to use black and white for the gradient, you can use different shades of grey, so it's definitely worth experimenting. Now I'm just making a few more tweaks to the design. And as you might imagine, you can get very creative with this. So I can hold down Alt or Option and drag an object to duplicate it. And you can see these three rings all overlapping and intersecting creates this really awesome glow effect. 
And this isn't exclusive to Illustrator. You can do this in Photoshop, XD, After Effects, as you saw in the intro. And remember, you can change the color of the glow effects using the two black swatches that technically aren't black that we created at the beginning. And there we go. That wraps up the tutorial. So if you enjoyed this delicious video, well, you can subscribe for more. You can press the bell if you'd like more than more. And I'll see you next time.